I'm a researcher here at the Natural History Museum. I work in the life science department. So in my research I'm particularly interested in um, a group of organisms that are called cyanobacteria. So they're also known under the name of blue-green algae because of their blue colour and um, they're very all important for life on Earth. So they are, for example, were the first organisms that produced oxygen and they're very good in living in extreme environments. A lot of my research is in Antarctica. So we're very interested in microorganisms because they're very important for the production of oxygen on Earth. They're also very important for degrading organic matter. Microorganisms are also um, very crucial for discovering new medical drugs. So basically, they're very important, they're everywhere, but we still know very little about them. The Microverse is part of Dr Anne Youngblut's research here at the museum into the microorganisms that can survive on buildings. Buildings might not seem like extreme environments to you and me, but if you put yourself in the place of a microscopic organism, you're living on a vertical face, you're exposed to sun, there's very little shelter, you only get water when it rains, and in some places there can be really high levels of pollution. So it is quite a difficult place for life to exist. We're trying to find out what microorganisms, which species can survive on buildings in urban areas and what role they're playing in urban ecosystems. We want to look at different ages of buildings, urban areas versus rural and different building materials to understand what difference does sandstone or brick, glass or plastic or metal make. So we're really trying to understand what factors affect this microscopic life in the UK. The Microverse is a citizen science project, so it's all about people power. Our researchers just simply do not have the time or resources to travel all over the country collecting lots of samples, lots of data and observations. So we really rely on the help of the students and for them, for their knowledge of really cool buildings that might be all around the UK. We're asking the students to collect samples of microorganisms from buildings under sterile conditions. We'll be sending them a pack with all the equipment they need to take part. So students will use a sterile cotton wool bud, dip it into sterile water and we'll wipe it across part of the building to collect the microorganisms that are there. They'll then cut off that little head of the cotton wool bud into a little tube of DNA preservative and they'll post that back to the museum. We want to generate a DNA fragment of a specific gene. It's a gene that is present in, in all organisms and it allows us to then identify what species we have in our samples through sequencing. For me, the most exciting thing is that for the first time I'm able to work with students from all around the UK that we can study the habitats that have never been studied before and we can discover what species are living there and revealing the ecosystem and the diversity of these environments.